Hi guys, you come back to your computer, you've had a great holiday. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe more, right? And then you boot up again. This video is here to debunk that Arch Linux needs to be updated daily or weekly or whatever they say, right? It's just rubbish. I've made plenty of videos already with even SSDs with four years in the closet and then update. All you require is knowledge. Let's have a look. Last time, last time, last minus F, was it that one? Yep. So on June 30th of 2024, I said, let's make this ISO builder again from scratch. Let's reinstall. And then I started just booting up every day. Then it was time to go on holiday. So we stopped updating from July 23. That's the date up here. So I guess a three weeks holiday and three weeks update. What does that do to your system? Well, if you want to follow up, there is this thing, thing called scale and backup scale. All interesting things to type. Where do I find these things? Let's do a clear first. CLS is another thing. Well, that's not working. Um, but what you do is you type alias. An alias has all the list of all the stuff we have in the bash rc zs hrc or fish right so backup scale is in here and so many others are in here updating is just the word update what you're gonna go is is going to go to the repos the official repos as you see down here maybe we do a super c again and a clear and then at the top maybe a bit bigger voila update so what you get is three repos from us. Three repos from Arch, and we updated the ones that are the packages that we put on here have, have a preference, so are first in the list. So if it finds it, it's coming from us. If it doesn't find it, it's coming from Arch, basically. So many things have changed in these three weeks while we were away, and they decided extra, so that means Arch links, they, is the Arch Linux guys decided to change the name from a uh, replace Ruby a uh, breath abbreviation maybe right and then to that one so you just say yes or enter so these things have been rearranged we're probably gonna get the same thing but the reference the package is renamed rather than having all these things separately they say let's just replace it with one big package called Ruby. Now maybe you don't have these packages because this is the ISO builder. I built lots and lots of packages for you guys on these three lines and these three lines, all these guys, I think around a thousand packages or so. So yes, probably I have Ruby and maybe you don't, right? So I'll just say yes. Now I'm just gonna go for enter quicker. Now one of the things in updating an Arch Linux is the Arch Linux key ring. So we'll see if we need it. But definitely we we'll need a new Linux kernel also, but it's down here somewhere, 6.10 at this point in time. Don't think, uh, yep, NeoFetch is still on my machine, 6.10, Arch 1-2, and we'll get a new one in. Because of uh, packages, of choices, in this case, this is an Nvidia machine, I have NVIDIA DKMS, which means it's um, following the kernels. If there is a kernel update, it will build the NVIDIA package for me. So I'll never end up in a black screen. Whether I choose Linux or Linux Zen or Linux LTS or any other Linux thing, a kernel, eh, it will always adapt itself because of the DKMS module here. And down here, we'll see it working. Old. P, I want to keep my green stuff. This is mojito alike. So my holiday drink here, mojito, the wallpaper, just a joke. But um, we did not have to, let's do it anyway. Pseudo Pacman minus S arch Linux keyring. 
That's the first thing you type and that's the thing you install. Maybe, right? Get the new databases in like this. And then it's gonna look on the internet and say, oh yeah, there's a new package of Archlinks Keyring. Then it's gonna download it, gonna install it. Off you go. Same thing happens if you do fix key. Same thing happens. There are many aliases for it, so if you forget, there are some so many things here like fix key, fix key without the dash, keys, fix key without with the Zs. I mean, just remember one of them and you'll be fine. That's it, right? Three weeks of no updates, and here we are. We have new system to boot up into. And that's all it is. Knowledge, remember the Archlings keyring, and enjoy the world of Arch. Cheers.